What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and in today's video it's that time of season again. It's ban list season and we're going to be talking about what I think should be on the ban list. Now yes this is a ban list prediction video but I really talk about the reasoning behind why I think certain cards should be on the ban list, why they shouldn't be on the ban list, and why they're not going to be on the ban list even though maybe they should be. Now if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Guys we upload all different types of content here on the channels deck profiles combo videos dual videos product openings bandless predictions like this one we do a ton of different kinds of content on the channel so i think you guys need to subscribe so that you can see all that kind of content and we can hit 10k subscribers and then 16k by the end of the year that's kind of the goal and i believe in every single one of you thank you guys all for watching i really appreciate every single one of you with that let's get right into what should be banned what shouldn't be banned and what is going to be banned potentially i don't know we'll see so we're here on tier maker and you guys can see we have a few sections over here we have the banned limited semi-limited unlimited of course this is what you're going to typically find on a ban list and then we have the not this ban list but soon so what this section is going to be used for is to talk about cards that i feel like should be on the ban list but konami is not going to hit them this ban list and there's going to be reason as to why they're not going to be hitting them on this ban list whether it's future support whether it's a new deck etc etc so we're going to talk about this in just a little bit but let's get right into the meat of the discussion here and i think something that's going to need the most time to explain and that's the tier limits card. So what I think Konami should do and what I really truly believe should happen is all the tier names need to go to one. Like the Sheeran, the Hovenus, as well as the Merli, they all need to go to one. The reason why I think this should happen is because if you're only playing three different tier names and it's only one of each, the odds of your opponent being able to mill these cards and get their combos off, on top of that, if you just get rid of one of them with a DD Crow and Arbisteel, the thing is your opponent's not gonna have a really good time playing. So I really think that hitting them to one each makes a lot of sense. Now you guys might be thinking, oh, but Spanko, a lot of people talk about Kick Kilos going to zero. I don't think kick close is going to go to zero because that essentially makes the deck unplayable now yes i know in the ocg they're using the king of the swamp tactics to use that as a replacement for something like rule close but the thing is I, the reason i don't think kick close going to zero really solves anything is because there is ways around it like i just talked about but then as long as these cards are all at three you can still do a lot of different shenanigans with the deck you guys still have max power to mill cards to fusion summon etc etc so i really think these cards need to be at one each it doesn't give your opponent a lot to play with and it makes the deck really fragile so that's why i really think these should all be at one and now we're talking about pierre Lorino, i don't think it's going to get hit this ban list so because if this happens okay i'm actually going to preface it by saying this if they each go to one like i want them to then i don't think this is going to happen if konami somehow goes a different route and decides to ban kick close or they decide to limit only one of the names then i feel like this should be in the limited section but for now i think this is not going to be in the ban list because i really think that the only way to hit this deck and put it in check is to really hit these cards cards all to one right in the ocg i think all of these cards are at one and kit close is banned and they have one field spell and it's still the best deck now don't get me wrong i understand that in the ocg it's a little bit different because they have one fenrir all their sprite cards are hit as well so in the ocg it's a little bit different because all of their meta decks are hit and then tier limits is just the strongest of all the hit meta decks whereas here i think they really need to make it so it's still not the best deck and to do that you really need to limit all the names and i don't think they're going to touch pierre Lorino, especially because i really don't think they want this deck to die out right so i don't think kekalos is going to be banned i don't think pale is going to get hit these all should go to one but a card that i think is definitely going to get hit is instant fusion if we're not banning the kekalos we need to ban the instant fusion instant fusion is just way too powerful in that deck it's already at one and i don't think any other deck really right now abuses it any deck that can use instant fusion can also just use the ready fusion instead so this is gone these are all at one and i think this is the perfect way to check the deck now a card that i don't think is going to get hit and this is going to be a group of cards it's the ishizu card so here you have kelbeck specifically specifically but all of the Ishizu cards specifically I think the Millers are more important than the Shufflers the Shufflers are cool and all but I think the Millers are just the more important aspect to the deck I don't think these cards are going to get hit at all Mavens is still kind of a newer set and don't get me wrong it is one of those cards and it is one of those archetypes I guess you could call it that really helps the tier limit matchup but I think these cards and again when I show Kelbeck here I'm talking about all the Ishizu cards I don't think they're going to get hit because I don't think on their own they're actually that great of an engine or that great of cards so i think 
the thing is with these cards is Konami is not really going to touch them because if something like, again, this is all speculation, but if these three happen, which I believe should happen, then there's no reason to really touch the Ishizu cards. Sure, you can mill more cards, but again, if you're only playing one of each of the tier limit names and your opponent has a single Bastille or a single DD Crow or a single Ghost Spell, then it kind of makes it so like, okay, it doesn't really matter that they are milling more cards, right? So that's why I think it's not going to get hit. The reason I'm saying but soon in this is because if this does happen and these continue to be problem cards, I personally don't believe they will be, but if they do continue to be problem cards, I can definitely see these cards getting hit on the ban list. So I don't think they're going to hit the disc ban list, but I think they may in the future. Same thing with Magnum. I'm going to talk about this one as well. I think the Bestial monsters were a mistake in Yu-Gi-Oh! All of them, not just Magnum. Magnum, Druus Worm, Sarnia, I guess you could say is not as bad because its effect is not that great compared to the other ones. In pure Bestial, it's obviously really good, but as an engine or as a card that just goes into any deck, Sarnia is obviously not the better one. But Magnum being able to search any dragon is so crazy just because you're able to search cards, not just Bestials, but like cards like Destrudo can be searched off of this, which are absolutely insane. And so I really think that Bestial monsters in general should get hit. I think Magnum, if any were to go, Magnum is the first one to get hit, but I don't think it's going to get hit on this ban list. I think Konami is going to do a thing where like, hey, if the tier limit cards are hit, it's also very unlikely that people are going to continue to play the Bestials, even though I think that's completely wrong. I just think Konami's mindset is going to be that like, oh, all of these cards are at one. Tier limits is not going to be the best deck. We're going to be in a Koshtera format. And so the Bestials are not that great into a Koshtera format. And so for that reason, we're not going to hit it. Granted, I really think this card and the Bestials in general are going to be generically good always because the best decks of all time have been light or dark and all the competitive rogue decks have also been light or dark. Yes, there's other elements sprinkled in here and there, but let's be honest with ourselves light and dark have been always the two most prevalent attributes in the game so for that reason i just think this is going to be a long-term mistake i don't think it's going to get hit right now a card that i think can I, I can really see getting this getting hit to be honest with you is sprite starter and I'm not a fan of putting things at semi-limited. To be honest, I was really hoping it would get limited. I think it might just go to two. And I know it's a funny hit, but I really think this is something Konami might do. Now, my reasoning behind it going to two, it could go to one honestly as well. I, th there's an argument for both. The argument for it going to one is obviously Konami just likes, especially in the TCG here, we like going to one or unlimited or banned. We don't really use the semi-limited section too often. We have a few cards that are on there, but in general, I don't think uh, the semi-limited is used to option here in the TCG. So I guess you could argue with going to one, I don't know. I'm back and forth with this. I think Sprite started to one is not the end of the world for Sprite. This is kind of their way of like hitting Sprite without actually hitting the deck super hard. You can still play with the deck. The deck is still very competitive. I'm pretty sure it got some tops the most recently at the regionals and the most recent YCSs. So I think this deck is very powerful and I can definitely see starter getting hit. I just don't know if it would go to limited or semi limited. That's kind of the where I'm at right now. I feel like because of the Konami TCG's track record, it's going to get limited, but I feel like it could go to two and it'd be fine. I feel like this deck just needs a tiny hit. And yes, you guys might be thinking, oh, but starter at two doesn't really make that much of a difference. I think this does make a pretty big difference. I don't think they're going to hit any of the sprite names unless they hit jet. The only other thing is this could be unlimited unless they hit jet. If they hit jet to one, then this card could stay at three. But I think this card might go to one, might go to two. Let's put it at one for now. This is what I think they're going to do to sprite. The only hit to sprite, I think elf is going to stay. Sprint is obviously a new card. That card's not going to get hit. So starter to one makes sense, maybe to two, but let's keep it at one for now. And then a card that I was just talking about, or like we were just talking about the upcoming format, is Koshtara. I think Koshtara Unicorn needs to go to one, like I'm gonna be honest with you, but because it's still such a new card, because the archetype isn't even out yet, like the full archetype, and it's getting support coming soon, I think this card is not gonna get hit at all this format. I think it's pretty self explanatory why it won't get hit, but I can definitely see this card going to one in the next ban list, so that's why I'm putting it in the not this ban list, but soon tech category. I just think it makes a lot more sense here. It's gonna get hit. Trust me, I guarantee you it's gonna go to one someday, but for now, now it's going to be unlimited because the deck's still new, they have to sell the cards, and Unicorn's a very important card in that deck, right? Pot of Desires, I think this card is going to get unlimited. Uh, it's a card that's at two currently, and you know, it's a really good card. I only believe in playing two anyways myself. I've only ever played two, even when it was at three. So I think this card is going to get unlimited. I don't think it's going to change much. Some people might up it to three in their deck list. I'm going to keep playing it at two no matter what, but I feel like this card now can come off the ban list and it won't really do much in terms of the metagame. But a card that will do a lot in terms of the meta 
meta game is the Wind Barrier Statue. This card needs to go. Fluandries, I don't think, needs to get hit at all other than this card. Literally, you can keep Fluandries at full power, but Barrier Statue needs to go. A deck that can put up Barrier Statue and then protect it with something like Ryza is just too powerful, in my opinion. So that's why I think Barrier Statue needs to go. I think they can keep map, keep your advent. doesn't really matter. This deck does top a lot, but the thing is, what I've noticed is the reason it tops is because it can just sit on something like a Barrier Statue, and then it makes it super poly proof because keep in mind Garura is a very good super poly target against the Floundries matchup but the thing is as soon as they put this up it doesn't really matter right so that's why I think this card needs to get banned and then don't touch Floundries at all just ban this card and I think it becomes a totally fair deck but because this card is now banned I think this Amorg Link Monster can now come back to three I mean they could bring it back to one because it's banned right now so they can bring it back to one but again one at three doesn't really matter with this card I think this card is just going to be one card that needs to be off the ban list it should never be on the ban list in my opinion to begin with the only reason it's on the ban list is because a lot of other decks could make it to end up making this and that became a problem in the tcg so that's why they banned it but again if you just ban the problem card which this card is the wind barrier statue it's a problem card in fluandries it was also a problem card in decks like tri brigade when they could make it with the samorg link monster it was a problem in a lot of decks as long as you can make this you can make barrier statue and that's an issue but if barrier statue is gone i can definitely see this card coming back to three coming back to one or two doesn't really matter it's a card that's going to be played mostly at one in a lot of decks so i think it come back to three it doesn't need to be on the ban list another card that i think could go back to three is uh tempest i think what's going to happen is actually going to go to two i know with some cards konami likes to go from zero to one to two to three and so for that reason i think tempest might actually come back to two i think it could definitely be at three i just think because it's at one right now if konami is going to want to slowly bring it back they're going to bring it back to two it's the least powerful of all the dragon rulers and not a lot of decks can actually take advantage of this so i think this is really cool i think it'd be a buff to a lot of rogue decks stuff like iron dragon stuff like dragoonity can make a lot of use out of it so i think it would be really fun to see this card back to two give people a lot of options to play this card and a lot of rogue decks would have a lot of fun playing this card so i do like tempest coming back to two i think eventually they'll come back to three but i think it's going to go from one to two right now and it's just going to hold at two and then a card i think should come off the ban list lastly is orcus hard porter this card is currently banned and i definitely think it can come back to one honestly i think it can come back to two or three because the bestial monsters exist because in general it would be actually one of the weaker graveyard decks if you're thinking about something like the tier limits this has no matchup against tier limit if i'm being honest with you like this deck is just way more powerful and so i think hard power to one doesn't really do anything in the metagame it won't shift that much it'll make people want to play orcus but keep in mind all the orcuses are still dark monsters them being all dark monsters means they're just gonna get hit with the bestials there's other cards like dd crow that can hit the deck and then it makes it so that like oh this deck becomes good again in a format where bestials exist and it's actually not that powerful right so i definitely think this card come back to one i don't think there's much of an argument with Harpoor, I feel like a lot of people think this card could come back to one. A card that I didn't include here, but I'm going to talk about right now, Thunder Dragon Colossus. That card is not coming back. It cannot come back. This is uh, the ban list that we're working with here. This is what I feel like Konami should do on the ban list. Now, will they do this? I don't know, but this right here is the perfect ban list. Like, if I see these two banned, these all at one, you get the Tempest back to two. Tempest back to two would be amazing, by the way. These coming back to three doesn't really make a big difference in the metagame, but it would be fun for a lot of bird decks. I don't think these are going to get touched. I think they will eventually, but I just don't think they're going to get touched right now. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I explained my reasoning to why a lot of these cards are on the ban list, why I chose to exclude certain cards, cards that kick close I chose to exclude, and just cards in general. If you guys have any opinions or any suggestions, let me know in the comments section down below. Am I missing anything? Looking back at it now that I'm doing this outro, I maybe should have included one of the tuners that got banned when Hulk was a thing because Hulk's not here anymore. Maybe, maybe a tuner can come back. I would really like Gofu to come back, but it's very unlikely. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload tons of different kinds of content here on the channel. Deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, product openings, all that good stuff. It's right here on the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.